Okay, in today's video I'm going to show you how to install JavaFX, set up the environment paths, and also install Scene Builder. And configure your IDE for the JavaFX library. Go to Google, type in JavaFX, go to the JavaFX website, click on Downloads, scroll down to where it says Downloads, select the latest version, select your operating system, Windows, Select the architecture of your CPU. There are two downloads that you will need. The first one, SDK, which is used for the software development. The second one, JMod, which is used for the software deployment. To use JMods, watch my video on how to create and deploy a standalone Java application, where I'll show you how to create your own application, which will run with no Java required. Click on SDK to download. Once downloaded, click on the downloaded zip folder, copy the actual download within the zip, go to where we installed Java 20. If you haven't installed it yet, then watch my video on how to install Java 20 under Program Files, Java, and then paste this into that directory. Click on Continue to allow administrator rights. Once this is copied over, the next thing we'll do is download the JMods folder. Now go back to the JavaFX download. Now click on the JMods. Once this is downloaded, click on the zip folder. Copy the JMods folder. Go to your Java installation folder. Paste this in there. Click on continue again, allow administrator rights. Now once we've completed this, we'll go back to our system environment variables and this time we're going to set up the paths for JMods and for the SDK. Search for, edit the system environment variables, click on environment variables, then click on new to add a new path. Type in path underscore to underscore fx, make sure this is in capitals, then go back to where we copied Java FX SDK and then copy the location for the lib folder. Go back to the environment variables and insert this in for variable value. Now you want to make sure it includes the double quotes. Click OK. Now we need to set up the path for the JavaFX JMods. Click on New again. Insert path underscore to underscore FX underscore JMod. Go back to where we copied the JavaFX Go back to JavaFX JMods, copy this path, go back to the environment variables, and then paste this in for the variable value. Once again, making sure it's got the inverted commas. Click OK, OK again, and then OK again. Now we want to install Scene Builder. Go up to Google search, type in Scene Builder, go to the Scene Builder website, Scroll down to Downloads. You want to download the Scene Builder Windows Installer. Click on Download. Once this is downloaded, click on the Download to install. Click on Next. Click on Accept the License Agreement. Click on Next. Click on Next again to install it to the default directory. Then click on Install. Now click on finish. Now you'll see a shortcut icon on the desktop. Right click on this icon. Now under Windows 11 you'll need to click on show more options and then left click on pin to taskbar. This will pin it down here on the taskbar which will make it easier to launch the application in future. Congratulations, you've now installed JavaFX 20, SDK and the JMods, set up all the environment variables required and installed Scene Builder. Now we need to set up the SDK development for JavaFX in NetBeans. From the icon at the bottom of the taskbar, load up your NetBeans, go up to the menu where it says Tools, go down to Libraries. Now we need to create the library for JavaFX. Select New Library. Under where it says My Library for the library name, type in JavaFX. For the library type, leave it as Class Libraries. Click OK. Now you need to actually add the actual libraries for JavaFX where we just installed them to. Click on Add Jar Folder 
and browse to where we downloaded and copied the SDK JavaFX libraries. This was under C Drive, Program Files, Java, JavaFX SDK. Select the library folder and then select all the libraries. Click on Add Jar Folder and then click on OK. Now we set up NetBeans to develop a JavaFX project. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to code your own JavaFX project using Scene Builder with JavaFX. I'll show you how to set up all the libraries, your runtime, and how to set up Scene Builder and link it to your project so that everything runs correctly, so that you can create your own future JavaFX custom projects. These series of validation projects will lead into SQL injections. A first project in this validation series to demonstrate validates for numbers. If a user enters in a letter, it gives you an error message down here stipulating that it should be a whole number. If you exceed the maximum length, it gives you an error message down here saying you've exceeded the maximum length. I look forward to showing you this next video.